Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Open House with Teens Podcast. I'm your host, Divine. Today's date is August 22nd, and today's topic is Build Your Faith. Let us pray. Lord, we are so grateful for life, for who you are, for all you mean to us, for your mercy, love, and kindness. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your love towards us. Thank you for being with us, for helping us, for sustaining us, for keeping us. Thank you for your presence that is amidst us. Thank you for not leaving us. Thank you for being with us as we navigate each day and its challenges. Lord, we are so grateful. Lord, as we're tuning in to learn more about you, please speak to us, help us, mold us, shape us. Let your name be glorified and it will be done in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome once again. Our memory verse is taken from Hebrews 11 verse 3, which reads, Through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the world, were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Our Additional reading taken from Romans 10 verse 19, which reads, So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Main message. Every child of God has a measure of faith. This is because you cannot accept Jesus Christ into your heart if you do not believe in him. However, God expects your faith to grow. You cannot remain at the level you were when you first gave your life to Christ. You must go to a point where you can use your faith to heal the sick around you. Today's Bible reading tells us that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. God's word is true to your spirit. It is what will make your faith grow. Thus, you must listen to it and act on it. Today's Bible reading tells us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God's word is food to your spirit. It is what will make you grow in faith. Thus, you must listen to it and act on it. If you do not constantly hear God's word, you will not only be stagnant, but your faith will also become weak. People in this category find it easy to fall back into sin and sick for alternatives when they are faced with challenges. Thus, the antidote for weak faith is listening to and acting on the word of God. The more you study God's word and put it to work, the better and stronger you will become. Action point. Get a message from a pastor legal service and listen to it today. The Bible says that we should guard our heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issue of life. Proverbs 4.23 And as... Daedra has communicated beautifully in this open demos. What we hear impacts what we believe. And even though it wasn't explicitly mentioned, what we see also impacts what we believe. You can check the Bible. When God was talking to Jeremiah, he asked him, what do you see? And he says he saw a tree and God replied and said, you have seen well. So what we see impacts us. A part of our beliefs structures is shaped by the environment we are in and while we cannot con- control the immediate environment we are in like we can't control what people say as school necessarily we can't con- control what we choose to listen to and who we choose to pay attention to and i pray that the lord will give us the wisdom to pay attention to the right things and to pay attention to his word if you're not giving your life to Christ, I would encourage you to do so. The Lord loves you and wants a relationship with you. He not only loves you and knows you, but He wants to help you as you navigate each day and its challenges. And if you're ready, say this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. Please have mercy upon me and save me. Save me from my sins. Save, save me. Save me from my sins, save me from evil. Help me to know you and to love you more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much for joining us. Don't forget to check back again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.